I break my spaghetti and you can't stop me. My GF always looks at me in disgust, horror and anger but the eating experience of half spaghetti is superb follow my reasoning if you wish. You don't get sauce splashing everywhere because they are like wild snakes getting tickled juicing everywhere. You don't even need a spoon because they can be eaten with one fork in hand or foot, per preference. They don't stick together much because they get separated at birth, hence making for an at least 17 for improved ingestion experience. They cook objectively a bit faster, results clinically proven N2. I like going against societal norms. The returning joy of witnessing signs of existential dread in my so's face after muttering the shameful proud question whether the spaghetti need to be split. Come at me, I can take it making pasta right now. I just love the feel of snapping noodles between my hands. Started when I was a kid. Stopping now is like trying to pick up tongs without test clicks. Why stopping at half? I started like that, then realized I could do better, in 8, 16, 10, 24. Now I grind spaghetti into a fine pulverized mist. They are ready in 0.5 minutes and I can inhale them through my feeding tube. N2 boy came at us with big facts. I do this all the time with spaghetti, but spaghetti only. Other long noodles, like fettuccine, get left whole. As an Italian, I challenge you to break a spaghetto in exactly two parts without the third small little tiny piece in the middle flying away. Stop him he has small pots. Breaking them makes it so much easier to eat I found a box of much shorter spaghetti noodles at my local Kroger, it's great. In Italy sometimes we break spaghetti for children to make it easier for them to eat. There is nothing wrong in breaking them, you are a big boy and you can eat spaghetti as you like. On a serious note your spaghetti level in Italy would be child between 3 and 5 yo. You splash sauce everywhere eating spaghetti use a bib, you use a spoon to eat spaghetti it's no soup, you cook sticky spaghetti you are probably overcooking them and they don't cook faster when broken just no. I didn't know I wasn't supposed to break them in half. I've been doing it for 20 years. N2. Man's bringing meiosis into this. I have a feeling the last two points are the biggest ones here. All your other points are just the result of inexperience. Just do what I did and switch to stabable pasta rather than noodles pen, for farley, zt, orakayet, elbows, etc. They hold sauces better, are forked more easily, and they have more body and texture to boot. Who uses a spoon for spaghetti? Please don't tell me you rinse your pasta as well or we will have to send you to Elba for the rest of your life. Yes I do this all the time but I break each spaghetti piece one at a time. Do you not know how to eat spaghetti? For me it's way difficult to eat when they are broken I can't roll them properly, they are too short, I've also never used a spoon and I don't understand why people do that ha ha. As an Italian, this breaks my heart. It's okay to be different. I used to cut up my child's spaghetti before he ate, so it was easier. He's six now and has somehow mastered the art of using a fork. Don't worry OP you'll work out how to use the devil's pointy spoon someday too. You don't are break are the pasta are. Edit light skin tone emoji modifier. I mean, it's your how you want. Somebody stop this guy. I do agree with you. I almost never cook spaghetti though, as I think it's a stupid shape for pasta to be in. Shapes like fusilli or pen are far superior in my opinion, as the sauce will get in in between the pasta, for a better flavor distribution. You don't get sauce splashing everywhere because they are like wild snakes getting tickled juicing everywhere. But. That's half the fun. A man after my own heart. If I could quarter it I would. See you in hell fucker. I had no idea that other people didn't do this. It's the only way that makes sense to me they'll fit in the pot if you break them. 
Isn't breaking spaghetti a normal thing people do? I break mine too mostly because I'm not usually making a very big portion and I use my medium saucepan instead of my big pot. But I needed to use the big pot the other day for a bigger portion, and I was like hey they fit, I'm not gonna break them this time. Then spent the whole time eating trying to get the super long spaghettis wrapped around my fork without a bunch hanging off, or with bites that were too big. Always break the pasta. Skill issue if you can't eat normal spaghetti in it. I love the confrontational stance on spaghetti breaking. LOL. Heck they even sell the pasta in 1-2 length now. You also get twice as much spaghetti. The math speaks for itself. The biggest advantage is that they fit in bloody pan. I eat a fair bit of spaghetti and I will now look for a double length brand just to offset your bestial behavior. If you wish to eat smaller types of pasta, buy smaller types of pasta. My Italian friend. Why don't you just buy a short pasta? I agree because electric pressure cookers don't come with a 12 inch diameter. Break your spaghetti in half and layer in the instant pot like a nest pickup sticks. Dump half of a jar of sauce down the middle and about 2 cups of water down the side. Pressure cook for 10 minutes and slow release for 10 minutes. Prep time 3 minutes, cook time 30 minutes. I like to break my pasta before even boiling it. Put it all into a bag, smash it with a hammer until you have a nice powder, and just boil the powder. Then add sauce so it's more of a gloop than anything else. Then dump that in the trash and go eat unbroken pasta at a restaurant because the gloop tastes awful. I do the same. Ma Perch? EUN Pet Kato Pouting Face Pouting Face. It is okay. There are many ways to prepare food for people with disabilities, not everyone is capable of eating full length spaghetti without making a mess. Who TF eats spaghetti with a spoon? No caso. I don't have money, but what I do have are a very particular set of skills. Skills I have acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. Try breaking them into one-inch pieces and putting them in a tomato-based veggie soup, it's fantastic. Agreed I half it and then cut it up with fork and knife. No mess, no spoon. Well you can do what you'd like, but don't come crying to us when you burn in a boiling pot of snapped spaghetti in hell. You do know you're not supposed to use a spoon when eating spaghetti right, it's only a fork. I started doing this when my kids were little. It was an easy step to prevent the worst of messes. It was still messy, but not as bad. As an adult with children grown, I'll test myself with the whole length of the pasta. Does it change flavor or anything? Nope. Not at all. Just do you. Spaghetti, in my opinion, is easier to twirl on a fork when they are long. I was taught how to properly twirl spaghetti no spoon needed. With shorter pieces the twirl is not as stable. Learn how to twirl and you don't have to break your spaghetti in half like a barbarian. No, not the spoon why, it's not that hard learning to use the fork. Why would you be eating with a spoon anyways? You only ever need a fork. People don't break their spaghetti? Everyone in my family has always done it. It helps it fit into smaller pots if you're not making a whole lot. I don't even buy spaghetti anymore. There are plenty of better shaped pasta for most sauces. Why would I stop you? I do the same. I just assume they keep making and shipping them so long because the machines that make the pasta and box it and so on are already set up for unnecessarily long pasta. If I eat spaghetti that's no broken I cut it all up with a knife and fork before I eat it, family thinks I'm weird but I think it's too messy otherwise. Not unpopular to me, my mom has been a chef for 35 years and has been breaking her spaghetti up for years. Said an experienced chef from a restaurant showed her. I agree I think it works out much better.